This episode of What Horse, we're getting kicked into the Christmas Eve. That's right. Christmas time, Christmas trees. What, did, you, did you buy me a new horse? We're working on it. <laughs> working. <laughs> but boy, you work on a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's <now>. right. <laughs> we're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna do it again. I tell you what, you you go ahead and take us to a commercial break, and then we'll go into the show. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is a perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. plus on that one <laughs> that was quick sweet straight to the point got it done that's right you know we're, we're going to be paying tribute to some people later in the show but first we're going to go right back into horse of the year because i i really want people to see the horse of the year videos and it, and this is the last week they will see this year's horse of the video on the show. Yeah. They'll have mm -hmm. to go to YouTube, Facebook to see it there. But let's go to horse of the year. I love doing these yes. because these are some that's just great. Here we go. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Jo Jacobs. Now she was reserved in the pleasure horse division. But I'm gonna tell you that young lady showed a lot during the year and that, that means a lot. That means, and that it means does. a lot. There, she represents the industry well, very well. That's the future. Everybody better be watching them because these kids, they're the ones that's going to take us into the future. That's and right. The better riders they are, better it is. There's 
Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. I love this horse. I don't care what they say, I love him. I would have tied him first in every class I saw him in this year simply because that right there is what we saw. Every time you see him, that horse doing the same year. I wish I had a barn full of horses like oh, that. Oh Lord, I do too. Because it, that horse right there can just get it done. I like it because it's got the reach, got the back end, and the head got shake. The head shake. And right, Graydon Beach, there's another good one. Got it all, and Jake Jacobs. Now Jake is one of these that will do anything to help any show. Yes. He told me one time, he said, if you ever need me and you don't call me, that'll be the first time we don't get along. And, and he's very sincere. He wants to help. He wants to help the industry, he wants to be a part of it. And he's willing to help any shows. He has helped do tracks. He's come in and cleaned up tracks. Uh, he told me, he said, if you'll let me fix that track and clean up afterwards, I'll help on your show. If you won't let me do that, I ain't helping. <laughs> Now there's Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald, another ambassador, both of them. Yes. Horse and rider right here. They represent the industry well, very well. Oh, he does. He does. Robin rode her, that horse. Yeah, he did. She, she did a flat ride. That's a great horse. He just uh, gets it done. That was gets one ride, different divisions. Yeah. Right here is Cavender. I'm predicting right there that's your next four-year-old world grand champion right there. I truly believe that. That's oh, it could be a world grand champion. Yeah. You know a lot of these four-year-olds going in these I, classes, you don't never know. You don't know what he's doing. That right there is one yeah. that can tote the note, buddy. Ox knows how to get it done. Yep. I watched him in his first show was at Thor Sports, and you could tell that horse had talent. Right there, Manny. Now they was in a tie with her mother. Yes. <laughs> that's a pretty thing. That is, that's a good horse.
Taylor can play it right. That's one thing. Just put her foot in the stirrup and let her swing a leg over one, and she'll take him to the to the winner circle. Even. Just watch her. Right there, she's limitless in Molly Walters, your lady amateur special adventure that's tied with many. Yep. That's all right. You, I mean, you got both of them from the same family, mother, daughter. Mm -hmm. They tied. That's good. Jose, another good one. That horse been around a while. Yes. I think he, he's getting on up close to the classic horse division. But he's a good one. help you in any way he, he can, but he, he does not get excited, really. He no. really does. Here's Honey Bee in Taylor Walter. Owner amateur four-year-old marriage guild in section A winner to celebration and amateur four-year-old marriage guild in reserve winner. But now there ain't no second seat on her. No, I ain't. <laughs> True Blue, R.M. Kelly, Trainer of the Year. Yep. What do you think about that? Well deserved. It is. Well deserved. Well deserved. He's done a great job. There's no doubt about it. He has done Damn a good man, job. He's come there. a long ways right oh, there. Hey, he's come a long ways. When you've got a young trainer that keeps building, 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 building like R.M. has, and they reach the top, to me, that's just fantastic. You know, with him and then Spencer, you know, got the experience like Spencer have, they, they can put that together. I mean, they, 
It, that's a super team right there. Hey, there's a lot of knowledge that on is. the ground. Mm -hmm. Mr. True Blue. Right here's one, honor and remembering. Now that horse right there, it keeps getting better. Oh yeah, better. he does. You can see the difference between when he first showed him to you doing now. He's yeah, better every year. He got every better. show he get better. Well, I know Kim Lewis and George both were just tickled to death with that horse. But now, hey, Dan has done a great job. Dan's got some good ones. Out oh yeah, there. Dan got some real good horses. Out there. Honor and remember is definitely one of them. We you know him and Winky out there together. So yeah. I mean that helps each other. Oh yeah, out real well. We'll be seeing a lot of that horse right there, I can tell you. Right there. You just keep doing it. Yep. You know, when you got two trainers out there together, you can help each other. Well, when they give each other pointers, pointers and, yeah. and suggestions, it always helps. It helps. You do it right. But when you got a real good horse, that helps a lot. <laughs> you got to have right there, that's right there. Yeah. What you want first is a real good horse. Epic. Now, just like I told him, this wouldn't be horse of the year without it. Yes. I mean, you're talking about one good horse. And I'm, I'm just going to tell Mike that I'm not going to go through all the honors this horse has won because I ain't got time. Yeah. <laughs> bunch. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think he said somebody pretty interesting almost got him sold. Well, that'd be good. I mean, that'd be good for the industry. Yeah. There's a lot of people want one they can go out and win on. Yeah. A lot of people that try to buy one to beat him, I don't think they have done it yet. Not, nah, but they, they keep trying. Yeah. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe, another good horse. Now her, her dad bought her the perfect horse for her. Yes. Little bitty thing on a great big horse right there makes one heck of a statement. And it makes it loud and clear. Very loud and yeah. very clear. That says a lot for that horse and her. Oh yes, yes. yes. Well, it makes a statement for the industry. Yes. Great, great image is what that is. Is a fantastic image for our industry and our kids and our horses. Right here, here's another one. Oh yeah, it's the medalist. One. It's the medalist, as James would say. And Eli, and a little Eli now, he can plant right. Oh yeah, he can. We just keep going. 
going, buddy. That class there getting bigger and bigger every year and a lot more competition. Oh yeah. Well in there. James has gone and got him a pony now. Yeah. So he they're gonna have to contend with him in two different divisions. And that's when the men start saying, well, it won't be long before he'll be up there riding against us. Yes. Georgia, Florida line, and Robert. Now, Robert was tickled to death with the, the, what we did. Yeah. But in between him and Knox, that horse was a winner in open and amateur. Kind of like Jeremy and some of the other riders that rides Virginia's horses. Yeah. Win both of them. Right here's the queen bee. This is the queen of the show. She's limitless in Molly Walter, her amateur specialty division. She got her a world grand championship this year. And horse of the year, what more can you ask for? Yeah. And she's well deserved. That's what tickles you is when you see people and they win and, and you see the expression on their face. That's what it's all oh, about. Yeah. Jimmy McConnell told me one time, he said, you know, winning World Grand Championships are good, but when your amateurs win, he said, that's what's great. Yeah. All right. They're the same horses. But they look better and better every time you see them. I like watching them I myself. Love, I, I do really too. do. A lot of people say, how often do you watch videos? If they come up there sometime and watch what I'm doing, I'm watching old videos of horses, comparing them to the horses of the day. Yes. And it's a, it, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. It is. All right. I think we, we're going to take a commercial break now. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Go we'll ahead. be right back after this. Com these comments from the sponsors. How's that? That's, that's, that that's good. Better? Yeah. That is. Comments from our sponsors. We'll be right yeah. back. Why of each one. So uh, get your cat off from here. You're spinning yourself with the rules. Want everybody to know the rules of the games we're here today? So. 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 Mark Yemsey. So. Jim Howdy. There's your black stud coat. But I am three-time world grand champion world. I am Jose is his daddy. There's opportunity. The bid, 27. Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call. When you get down to it, done. So, so you bought me 2600, 2600 here, and then 56 and I have 5600. Do I have a better than 5 or 6? So, 5500, you bought 5500. And so, 1100, Mark Hall, take it. Call 1100, you bought. So, so, so. You break one, break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right I said this, but so, so, so. You bought it. Six-time world 
champion in the amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931 389 6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, this is where we're going now. I want everybody to know that in the walking horse industry, we have different magazines. We have weekly magazines. We have a quarterly magazine. We've only got one TV show, and that's the Water Horse yeah. Show. We do not charge for our website. We do not charge for the Facebook or YouTube or any of this. Main reason, we want it to be free. I want the public to see how great the horses are. I want them to see the educational videos. I want them to see some of the things that you're going to be doing as far as the training techniques yes. on horses. How we do this, why we do this. I want them to understand how these horses are and that a lot of what people say, or the majority of what people say, is just trash talk, yes. uh, lies, twisted truth, or something that uh, HSUS has made up to raise more money, and we know that they will do anything for a dollar. I mean, they, they will. But the, sh the people that sponsor us on a timely basis, they do their victory passes or run an ad on a horse, uh, I'm very thankful to you because you're the one that enables us to show the public. So, that being said, here's a complete segment that we're going to try to thank each and every one of you by showing videos of your horse. So, how was that? Is that good? That's good. Really. You might even be in there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Here we go. It's a big win tonight. Chris Elton, enjoy the moment and enjoy your World Grand Championship victory pass with Tony 24. Here is Jim O'Connor from Sevierville, Tennessee. Chris Elton and Tony 24 closing out on Thursday night in a World Grand Championship ride. Ryan Blackburn makes the ready ride for Ginger Williams of Greenville, North Carolina. It's four bird and Ryan Blackburn tonight. Riding under the spotlight and into the winner's circle with a Saturday night World Grand Championship ride. Ryan, congratulations.
coming down the west side, our four-year-old walking champions tonight, that is Tanner Burks up, honors image, Shane Porter.
exciting ride aboard the entry of Kelsey Andrews from Rancho Mirage, California. Judging man on the Triple Blue Ride by Megan Davis, Shamrock Farm, Shelbyville. The Lotus Spring Jubilee is the class for the amateur riders on the three-year-old stay. Winner, Dan Waddell making the Blue Ribbon Ride, George and Kim Lewis still on us. Bob Adcock, a nice round of applause as he leaves the show ring. Dan Waddell is in the irons and campaigns the entry for George and Kim Lewis of Newville, Alabama. Dan Waddell with honor and remember. Congratulations on a set.
who live in honors for the owner Robert Deutsch, Greensboro, North Carolina. Give Tyler a nice round of applause as he leads the show. That's Caitlin Duchelle making the Blue Ribbon Ryan. Kelly Duchelle on this year, Lincoln, North Carolina. MVP. That's BBB. He's been making the Blue Ribbon Ride from Athens, Alabama. Give BB a nice round of applause as she comes down to South Rail. Take a look. It's Tanner Bird showing honors. Image 834 to the Blue to Shane Porterfield Parkers. Track and it comes up next. Oh, let's take a look at our blue ribbon winner in the class for the amateur riders on the four year old. Country girl and Carol Baxter, your amateur two year old Marion Gelding blue ribbon winner here in Cornersville. Lee and Carol Baxter on the entry. Jim Lyon and Josh Watts, congratulations. Victory Lane. That's I am big enough. And Maxine Beasley, your youth pony winner. Best Beasley on the entry of Athens, Alabama. I am big enough. And Max. Taking a look at honors to Mr. Guest and Jeremy Jensen. Your riders come.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. I, with that, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas because that's, that's what this is about. I appreciate all of you that sponsored with us during the year, the ones that run Victory Passes. I really appreciate it. Uh, you enable us to pay Jerry. I really enjoyed it, being here <laughs> and doing it. <laughs> you, you enjoy it too. I know you do. I, I really it, enjoy it. It's a it. lot of fun. Yes. But I enjoy the horses. And uh, I enjoy it when people stop me and say, like lady will say, well, Jerry, you know that that little old girl can't ride. I said, you saw her do it. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. that's it. And that's what people need to see. They need to see just how wonderful our horse is. So that being said, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you next week. A Merry Christmas to you. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.